Now, if you watched the previous training video on how to send emails, as you recall, we sent an email out to two different email addresses. Well, if I want to be able to resend that email, first of all, I need to go to a place where they actually keep a copy or keep track of all the emails you sent. And that's easy enough. You come over here, and where it says Sent Items, when you click on it, I've gone from the inbox to the Sent Items. This is where I get all the emails, and this is where it keeps a copy of all the emails that I sent. Over in the main view here, well, I have all my sent emails grouped, like those I sent off today, which is just one, those two weeks ago, and those older than, well, two weeks, like, looks like a couple of months, or in this case, about a year. And then down below, I have the reading pane. I don't like this. I like it simple and clean for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the reading pane by clicking on the view, going down to reading pane, and turning it off. And then I want to ungroup these so I have a list of all my emails together. So to do that, I'm going to go to View, to Arrange By, and then over and down, and uncheck Showing Groups. So it doesn't show them in separate groups. They're all together here. Now again, I have my uh, email that I just sent off, which was today, April 27th at 11.29 a.m. If I double-click and open it up, you can see that I sent it off to Mountain Camping, which is at this email address, and then this other email address, xp at dreamforce.us. To go ahead and resend this to the same email addresses, for whatever reason, maybe they both called me up, these people that I sent it to, and said, look, we've lost this, we deleted it. You can come up here, go to the Message tab on the ribbon, to the Actions group, and click on Other Actions down to Resend This Message. Now, when I click on it, it opens it up, it fills in their email addresses, the subject, it just copies everything over. So all I have to do is click on the Send button, and I'm done. Close out of the sent message, and you'll notice that it's sitting in my Outbox, give it a second because I have it set up on auto send so the moment I send it to my outbox it'll shoot it off for me and we'll cover this in the later levels how to go ahead and set this up so it automatically sends it out or if it doesn't automatically send it out and it's still in the outbox here then you'll have to send it out yourself by manually coming up here on the standard toolbar and click on send and receive then it shoots the email out because it's gonna send but then also receive any email that's sitting out on the server okay so back to the sent items folder, now we sent out the same email twice. This was the first time we sent it off, which was at 11.29 a.m. And now in the afternoon, we did a resend action that, when I double click, looks like the same message. The only difference is, is that the times here of when I sent it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.